And elsewhere, the government projects that the cost of living is easing as farmers in the country's maize basket start to harvest their crop. The National Treasury further expects cropping during the current short rains to help further reduce food prices. As Kenyans continue to grapple with costlier basic commodities, the government is optimistic that the cost of basic foodstuffs will drastically reduce in coming weeks. According to the National Treasury, maize farmers in the breadbasket have started harvesting this season's crop, and this will see the retail price of maize flour reduce. The National Treasury further says since the onset of the short trains, the prices of vegetables and other non-fuel products have reduced. However, the Treasury warns that volatility of the Kenyan shillings against major international currency may erode the gains to stabilize inflation as depreciation of the local currency is expected to increase borrowing cost and debt expenses. Kenyans will continue to pay more money to acquire some products as the Russian-Ukraine tensions continue to negatively affect the cost of imports. In addition, drought being experienced in some regions could impact on the cost of electricity, water and some products. This as data from the National Treasury shows government revenue in July this year stood at 146.3 billion shillings against a target of 161.1 billion shillings. The government is seeking to leverage on the implementation of the Financial Act 2020 to boost revenue collections this financial year, where KRA is expected to collect 2.1 trillion shillings. Benson Ruba reporting for Lunchtime News.